G'day there everyone, Daniel Anderson here and in this episode we're going to take a look at the the topic of e-signatures and how we can utilize Adobe Sign from within Microsoft Teams using the new approvals app in Microsoft Teams to send out documents for signature. So obviously we've got um, the, in, the, the, the default and the basic approval system inside of Teams using the approvals app. We can um, send a document for approval. We can send anything out for approval basically uh, to a particular um, person and they can then approve that uh, but without a digital signature. Now with the inclusion of Adobe Sign into the picture here, we can actually get that physical signature or that digital signature on a document from within the approvals app as well. We can upload a document, we can attach it to an, a request using Adobe Sign, the preferred uh, e-signature platform for Microsoft. You may or may not know that, but it is. Um, and then that will get sent out to the recipient. They can digitally sign that and it's gonna come back into the approvals app here into the single place where we can manage all of this. So let's dive in and have a look. You can see here, I'm in the approvals app. I've got the approvals tab here. I've got the button to create a new basic approval. But what you may have also seen here that we've got the option here for Adobe Sign. Now, the, when you first open this, you're gonna be asked to log in. You need to have an account with Adobe Sign. I've already got an account and I've already gone through the process of signing in and authenticating. So what we can do here, we can now click the new approval request button, but instead of a basic approval, we're going to choose eSign. And we can choose here the provider, which is Adobe Sign. We need to give this a name of request. So um, name of the request is going to be employee contract. And we can add some additional details here. Please complete this. And we can now attach the document to this request here as well. So I'm just gonna upload it from my computer. Here's the document here. We can see here that we've got the option to choose whether this is done in order. So I can add additional um, signers here and there's two roles. There's a signer and there's an approver role. So I'm gonna leave it as signer. I'm going to add my Gmail account into here and we'll send it across to that email address. We can add additional um, uh, people to this flow as well if we need to, but in this case, I'm just gonna keep it to a single person. We're now gonna send that across. That's now going, a request and an email is now going to be sent to my Gmail account. So let me just open that up right now. So that's now come through. You can see here that I have uh, this document ready for signing, right? So you can see here's the name of, um, of the document. Here's the additional information I've got. Here's who it's from. And I can click on review and sign. That will then open up the document so, on, uh, so that I can read this document here. All right, so here's the contract. I'll scroll down to the bottom or I can click this start um, arrow here, and here I can click in and I can sign. All right, so I've already got a signature that's written here. Um, if it's on your mobile, then we can uh, do it on your mobile as well, um, and I will apply that signature. I now get the ability to click and sign. So I'm going to click and sign now, and that will complete that process. And now what's going to happen here is that inside of Teams, you can see bottom right hand corner, you can see that that has, uh, that has now been completed. The the, I'll get another notification to say the final status has been signed. I can open that approval up now. You can see in this uh, dialog box that I've got um, that it notifies me that it's an, a, an Adobe sign approval here. I've got the document, I can click that document. Um, and then I can open that document as well and look at this document itself. Um, and I can see that it's actually been signed. Um, I can get the, the, the history, um, everything like that, all the activity on this particular document. If I scroll right down to the bottom, you can see there's the signature there um, and it's all been completed. 
All right. So how um, how easy is that to be able to integrate in um, a, a digital signature platform like Adobe Sign into Microsoft Teams in that approvals app? We can send all these documents out now for digital signature. It makes it really, really easy for us. And we can come back and get notified inside of Teams, the place that we're working. And also in the approvals app, I've got now a history of everything that I've been doing uh, in regards to sending out these approvals and getting them uh, uh, completed as well. So I hope that brings you some value. I hope that uh, showcases how easy that is, how good that integration is uh, with Adobe Sign inside of Microsoft Teams. Thanks for watching. See you next time.